Hello, my crafty friends. Well, we're going to do another page in their scavenger hunt journal. Um, the One of the prompts was use an unused product. And another one was paint or ink splatters. So what I have here are actually several, un, several unused products. I've got these that I've never used these. I bought these... Um, these watercolor paints a while back and I haven't even taken them out of the bag because I haven't needed them I guess until now but anyway gotta work just to get to those but um, what these are they're um, they're iridescent watercolors uh, by Daniel Smith. We've got gold, sil antique silver, and copper. And um, that's what I'm going to make my splatters with. And I've got this brush that I bought to make splatters with that I've never used either. So I've never used any of these products yet. So I'm going to use them on a page together today. And um, I want something because I want this leaf to really show. Let's get one out and look at it because... So I think I want a darker page. Just pull one right off the top. Okay. That is really not easy to see on that one. Let's see if we can find one that's not really. Okay, it'll show up a little better on that page. But my splatters won't show up very good. So let's just look a little more and see if. Once again, it would show up well on that page. But that one will probably work. Let's leave that sitting right there for now while we're looking. There's a brighter version. But I actually think this works better. So let's just do this. Okay. These are, um, I think they're called skeleton leaves, but they just call them decorative accents. Anyway. Um, it's really interesting. I'm surprised these have lasted as long as they have. I think I found them at the thrift store. I'm not positive. Either I did or somebody else found them at the thrift store and sent them to me. One or the other. Um, okay. And what color dots do I want to go with this? I think gold or copper will show up better than silver. Of course, silver would be lighter. Hmm. I think since there's some oranges and stuff in here already, I'm going to go with the gold today. Sorry, I was trying to get this paint out of this lid without making a mess, which obviously I did make a mess. This is, keeps oozing up. Okay, let me get the lid kind of cleaned off and then we'll... Um, Well, hopefully that will be enough. Um, okay. 
Now I need, um, I'm going to need a little bit of water to mix with this so it can splatter. I don't know how much. I don't know. We do want it to kind of all be mixed up with this water. There was quite a bit on the brush too, so we're going to make sure it's all mixed up. Okay, I'm going to let that just sit there. And um, I think I want to ink around this. Make it. Sorry, I didn't have everything out. <laughs> I hope you all are in join the scavenger hunt as much as I am this year. I'm having fun with it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can ink right here. That's what I did with the other pages. So, And now to glue this down, and um, I don't know, first let's ink our little number pay, um, tab thing. Uh, tab is not the right word, but I can't come up with the right word. Tag. I had a little number tag. Okay. And let's see what page this is. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So this is page number 16. And we're going to just glue it right there. Well, the leaf... Um, I think I'm going to have to just I don't know. I think I'm going to put a um a layer of glue stick down and then just press that on top of it. I don't know. Actually, Mod Podge might be the better plan. I need something plastic to go under here. Okay, I'm going to pause just a second. Okay. I'm going to put some of my Mod Podge glue mixture down. going to just cover the whole page so it'll all have the same look.
Okay. Now then I've got to let that dry. Um, okay, I'm going to get this dry real quick and then I'll come back and put my splatters on it. Um, where's my lid? There it is. Okay. Got to put the lids on. Okay. I'm going to let it dry. I'll be right back. Okay. It's not completely dry, but it's dry enough that I can put my splatters on. But I also want to go back here and uh, mark my things. Okay. So we've got use an unused product. Page 16. And then where was it? There is paint or ink splatters. Also page 16. Okay. Now then, let's get back over here and put our splatters down. I haven't tried um, doing this method with splatters, but I've watched um, Barbara at 49 Dragonflies uses this method a lot. One fun thing about it is, if I leave this out and it dries out, I just add more water to it and um, I can use it again. So that's cool. Okay. So we're going to let that dry and I'm going to put this... Well, let's just, um, just for kicks, we're just going to put it on this page over here so it's not wasted. Now I'm going to put that brush in some water. <laughs> there we go. Cleaned up. Okay, well here is what this page looks like. Very simple, very quick, but I really like it. I really do. I hope you do too. God bless you and have a great day.